So we open with Ramona getting some chicken for the dog. Oh, Dorinda's getting ready for the Halloween party. Luann's picking out comedians for her little cabaloo, cabalo, cabalo. And child, Sonia Layton. I don't know why you inviting Sonia. The only thing funny about her is, well, her. The only thing funny about Sonia is her alcoholism and her face. Child, Sonia wants some coin. Um, there's not that much money to go around. And yeah, hair and makeup discount is, is all you gonna get. Oh, she says she pays for half my hair and makeup, so I just do it myself to get an honorarium. The comedians weren't bad. So Tinsley went on to see Scott, and now she happy in Chicago. Chicago. And Leah inviting her to Dorinda's party, even though Dorinda ain't really here for it. She like, I mean, girl, I guess. I'ma probably cuss her out, but okay. Okay, so now we go into a haunted house. I guess it's her body. Luann came as a cougar. No, she came as corny. Corny. See, I'm glad I got two episodes. This ain't shit. I really don't need to see them go through this haunted house. So now the girls are out for drinks and all talk goes to Tinsley while she ran to go call Scott. Dorinda said, well, she better hurry up. It'll be over in five minutes. They was pissed that she posted about him on Instagram before she told them. But y'all ain't shit. You are coworkers who don't deserve to know the business. Wait, what? Leah? Announced Tinsley's engagement and Tinsley just kind of the girl. Oh God, Dorinda. Oh, this is wonderful. You can move out of your hotel finally. Girl, everybody want to live in that hotel. Stop it. So then Dorinda and Sonia start talking about summer vacay. It's shade, honey, just shade. T Tinsley was like, y'all wanted to know my business so damn bad. What? Dorinda said she's making an ass out of us and running game. <laughs> running game? Oh my God. <laughs> what game? It was on again, off again, now it's on again. Let's see if they make it down the aisle. I'd be rolling the die. Baby, it's Vegas, try your luck. Did I swear, Dorinda's like, oh, you'll love Chicago. You'll love Chicago. Why are you so, like, I figured you'd be happy she was going. She's like, you know, you can pack up and leave tonight. Don't let the doorknob hit you. I, I don't know what it is that bites her butt about Tinsley, but ooh, it must be painful. She gonna say, I got a turkey baster. Maybe you can try for a baby. Dorinda is a drunken fool on a pill or two. Oh, Jesus Christ. Elise, why are you here? I, I didn't even see your ass. And I was enjoying it. Tinsley, this nice, nasty, passive-aggressive shit, it's real childish, like yourself. Oh, God, now Sonya gonna try to get some store to buy her shitty little line. It ain't gonna happen. Okay, so now we scouting for a low KK for Ramona's birthday. Oh, they going all the way out to Beth Page. Whew, that's four hours, back and forth. Oh, this is just the decorator. Child, Ramona was trying to flirt with Larry. He was having none of it. He was like, no discounts, honey, no discounts. Oh, so this is an apology for the fact that they weren't invited to her shit last year. But who would want to show up? Oh, that guy said at our age, you have 60 girlfriends you care about? That's so New York. Now, Dorinda, why are you going to say she should do her party with Sonia? Sonia can have her own party. This said this, wait, Ramona said this is her coming out party. What are you, the oldest debutante? And we've been knowing you eat puss, so that, that, that's no secret. That's no, there's no out. Dorinda just had to walk the fuck off. She said she really thinks she a debutante. <laughs> Dorinda, you may think of it as giving an opportunity to be kind, but I, I feel like your birthday is your birthday. Like, eh. You know what? Ramona gonna be... Ramona gonna be paying everything, so it would be sharing the party with Sonia. Sonia, you don't have a dime to your name. I almost hope your little shit sell at Century 21. Almost, but not quite. Uh -huh. And already Ramona's like, he's gonna give me a good price. Mm -hmm. that, and that's why he's on Bravo for the full free press and promo. Why does she keep calling it her coming out party? You've been single for two years now. 
three, four. I mean, that marriage was dead, so you've really been out here flapping for a minute. And I do mean flapping. <laughs> Dorinda said you want some Benjamin Buttons. Next thing you know, we're going to be celebrating your first period. Okay, Dorinda. This ain't nothing new. You didn't just meet Ramona. If somebody says come with me to the warehouse and help me plan my birthday party, you're going to be talking themes and finishes and all that stuff. And you know it's Ramomo. You know, no. So I don't know why you feel like you've been kidnapped. You just shouldn't have gone. Ramona tricked their asses into coming out saying, look, I'll give you a promo pick with three housewives for 40% off. So Tinsley meets Ramomo at the bar. Oh, Tinsley's like, I'm having Halloween in Chicago, Lou. So Tinsley and Ramona meet at the bar, and Ramona's like, I just want you to know, I just want you to be happy. Ramona wanted to apologize for being shitty to Tinsley when she made her announcement. She said, let's go have a toast. Oh, Luann's here too, in a statement necklace. And the statement is outside is. I mean, girl. Did you get that from the prop department of Poltergeist? Because that's Tangina's. Okay, and of course, Ramona double booked. Ron, you're early. Because everything's got to be about a date with Ramomo. Tinsley said, I ain't even going to be here for Halloween. Me and Scott going to hit the road. Child, she said, I'm moving tomorrow. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. Child, Tinsley getting a room for a closet and a glam room. If it don't work out with Scott, hey, hey, that's what I'm talking about. So Tinsley packing up her stuff with her mama. With Scott, so much happened so fast. It's been since 2017. It's time. It's time. Sonia just said, get ready, Chi-Town. The Tins is on her way. Chi-Town. Chi-Town. So I guess this is our farewell Tinsley montage. So Tinsley got proposed to. I'm happy for you, Heifer. Okay, let's see the next episode. I guess Scott was like, look, near the show, babe. Okay, we open. Is Leah going to uh, the Halloween shit with her baby daddy? So Dorinda and Luann pop up, and Dorinda starts whining about how Ramona had their asses helping her at that damn warehouse for a free press and promomo. Dorinda, I still don't see why you think Ramona should share her birthday. Like, I guess she didn't invite Sonia, but also, okay, she didn't invite Sonia. Invite her the next year. I don't think that means you got to share the party with the heifer. What if her birthday was six months away? Does she still have to do it? Dorinda said, toodles, Tinsley. Freeze up a bedroom in the Berkshires. Maybe we can invite Elise. Maybe not. Now Ramona talking to one of her friends about trying to find a relationship and the woman says, do you want love or money? And Ramona said, I want a best friend, but who lives like me? Well, pay for the ass. You got it. Now we got Sonia and Elise having a drink. Elise, Ramona wouldn't get a costume for you because we don't know you, Alpha. Why wouldn't she get one for me? Ciao. I didn't know you and Ramona was close like that. Like, Ramona and Sonia eat pussy. Have you eaten her pussy? Oh, uh -huh. Elise said, well, I got used and abused by Ramona. And all that makes you is a fool. Her sunshine has come. And you're all dried out. There's no more use left in your cloud. She said, I don't have a jet, a house in Aspen, a penis. I can't do no more shit for her. Oh, Ramona said, Elise, no. You're not coming with us. It's just the girls. Well, at least you've been really trying hard to get on the show. Real hard. Dorinda and her daughter, fast forward. Okay, now we got Leah and her family, fast forward. All right, so. Okay, so we got Leah getting ready for the party. The theme of the party is voodoo and appropriation tea. Mm. Ramona said, I went on and got Sonia a costume because I ain't like her shit. Ramona was trying to get people to show up at 8.30 and everybody's like, what? Girl, you should have had a snack in the car. Oh, God. So Ramona got two dates. <laughs> That's why she's trying to get shit early. Okay, Sonia is drunk and on three pills. Of what? I don't know. But she is out of it in this car. Oh, my God. 
Sonya, you and Andrew's gut match. I don't know why you mad at that. Girl, how could you not tell by his face that was his gut? Ooh, so now Dorinda, Sonya, and Elise walk in, and Sonya is just, it's going to be her night to shine. Oh, Lord, it's Jill Zarin. I never knew the heifer, so let's see what she brings. Did she bring me? So Sonya got this voodoo doll, and she pretending it's Ramona and just beating it up. So Sonya says, Ramomo, you know why I'm mad at you? Every time I talk to you, it comes right back to you, boo. Sonya said, I do love you, but you're an ass. So Ramona gets up and apologizes and hugs her drunken self. So now here comes Dorinda calling Ramomo the apologizer. Then Ramona sticks up for Elise saying she's at the bottom of the totem pole. And Elise said, I do feel that way. Well, you are, Heffa. You are. You're new on the show. You're new on the show. You don't have a relationship with the other ladies. So, yeah, like, it's friend of the show, Leah, then Sonia, then Ramona, then I guess Luann. So Elise wants to know, well, what kind of friend am I to you? And Ramona don't really give a shit. So she peels off to the pisser. Oh, God, now Dorinda whining to Ramona about, I thought it was downtown. I didn't know it was an hour and a half away. You just shouldn't have gone. Oh, God. Ramona, you idiot. You gonna say mic'd and on camera. Don't tell anybody, but you and Sonya are the most important in the group to me. Oh, poor Luann. Dorinda is still trying to put this girl on the party. Ramona said, I'll throw her another party another day. Do that. Do that. Do a month in between. Ramona said, Dorinda, you ain't got nobody to invite. Now, Dorinda, is Ramona asking you to pay for this party? She's just saying, I'm your friend and I'd like you to celebrate my birthday. I'm a big birthday person too. I'm a big birthday person. I believe in birthdays. It's the one day you get to look and celebrate your life accomplishments and every year without a headstone is a milestone. So if that's how you want to do your birthday and you're paying for it, it shouldn't be a problem, lady. If you think it's ridiculous, you have two choices. Don't go or go and be like, this is ridiculous, but hey, she's happy. It's her day. I'm out of my baked beans. I found these for 25 cents. I ain't seen 25 cents candy. I ain't seen 25 cent candy in years. Probably a decade. This be $5 in the city. Maybe eight. Okay, now, Dorinda, this, now we get into the real. You brought us out there to get a free party, and I felt used. You were. You were. Ramona really trying to say she paying. I think she paying something, but probably a lot of shit's at cost. Okay, so now Luann, Jill, and Leah arrive. Everybody looks like shit. Child, they like Sonya ain't gonna make it through dinner. Okay, so Leah pretty drunk, but Sonya drunker, and Sonya gonna call Leah a weirdo. So Ramona talking about Dorinda being Jacqueline Hyde on one side of the table, and Dorinda loudly complaining about being accused of being drunk at the other. And Luann is pissed Ramona brought Missy. Oh, Missy is the heifer that was telling on Luann. Oh, that's Tom's ex-girlfriend. Oh. One of Ramona's gigolos has arrived. I guess Andrew was too fat. Oh my God. So Dorinda gets up to make a toast and said, as a woman in power, I just want to know, is it bad when, a fr when you say something that a friend doesn't like and the first thing they say to you is, are you drunk in front of everybody at the party? Leah said, I'm drunk and I'm happy about it. Oh, God, the word of the season is Schneinfreud, Schneinfreud. Terrible to Sonia, and you're not nice. Well, damn. Okay, Dorinda. So Elise go to check on Ramomo, and she's like, I've been feeling a little neglected. I tried to tell you, and Ramona cut her off. I've got a lot to deal with right now. Avery walked by and said, stop wasting your energy talking about Elise. Oh, my God, she said you talk to about it with all your friends. It's like you can't get enough of it. It's annoying. Oh my God. Somebody's still getting Sonya a drink. 
You better get her an IV and some vitamins. Leah throwing the damn octopus around. And that's good grilled octopus. So Ramona and her friend leave. Okay, so it looks like everybody else is having a good time. And that was the shit. I'ma see you soon for something.